What's going on guys? Pete out here with an important news update for all my Rekordbox DJ users. Rekordbox DJ has just updated from version 4.2.5 to version 4.3. With this update, we get a bunch of new features and a bunch of improvements. So here's the release notes straight from Pioneer DJ. I'm going to go ahead and link this up down in the description as well. But let's just go over some of the new features. So another device that was uh, just announced was the DJM250 Mark II or MK2. This is a, a pretty basic two-channel mixer uh, that replaces the old DJM250, but this one also includes a, a USB audio interface, so you can plug directly into uh, your computer, have your turntables or media players set up, and run Rekordbox DJ natively without any extra interface or anything like that. And the price is crazy. I'll be covering that later uh, in my normal news recap video. So, also with Rekordbox Video, you get three new transition effects, eight new touch effects, and now vertical movement in addition to horizontal movement is allowed on touch effects. You can now combine beat effects and color effects with touch effects available. You get a visualizer. It now supports karaoke file format, uh, MP3 plus G. Like I mentioned earlier, you get the full screen button. You get a touch keyboard shown on the DDJ RZX center screen when connected, so if you have uh, Pioneer DJ's giant mothership of a record box DJ controller you get even more functionality out of it Also for the improvements you get uh, reduced CPU load when connecting to the DJ, DDJ RZX as well Now the loop is shown in the overview of each uh, in the overview waveform of each deck Also, you can now uh, add a track to a playlist by dragging and dropping the track title in the deck to a playlist as well as faster loading times for all uh, unanalyzed tracks. Also, besides these new improvements and new um, new features, you get this long list of uh, bug fixes as well. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and link that up down in the description as well for this full list, so you can take a look at it. This is a pretty cool release. I mean, it's moving from version 4.2 uh, dot something to a brand new like level, so it's 4.3. And I'm really happy that Pioneer DJ is really, you know, taking the time to add more features and add um, more fixes to the software. It's maturing pretty fast. Um, I like the software so far. It's pretty stable. I've used it a couple times, but I'm waiting for them to add, um, you know, more stuff to catch it up to what I'm used to with Serato DJ or uh, Tractor Pro. But the more time that passes, like I've said in the past, it seems like Pioneer DJ is adding more and fixing the software faster than Serato or Native Instruments. So I give this software a two, two thumbs up so far, and I just can't wait to see what they have uh, in the future for all the DJs out there, so especially if you're using CDJs and just using thumb drives. The more features they add to Rekordbox DJ as a full DJ software makes me more comfortable moving from like just having to use Rekordbox with thumb drives to being able to take my laptop out and plug it in just like I would with any other DVS. So if you are a Rekordbox DJ user, be sure to check this out. Just go ahead and launch Rekordbox. It'll prompt you to update and get your update on. See you in the next video. Peace.